On Saturn, the Cassini spacecraft captured a photo of the planet's southern polar region, showing some twisted clouds that look familiar. They are intriguingly similar to the Doppler radar hook echoes that are said to be signatures of tornadoes inside supercell thunderstorms on Earth. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if one day we can nail it and say that this is, in fact, our tornado on Saturn. But right now, our instruments are not fine enough to make that conclusive judgment. Tornadoes on Earth can be isolated events, or they can tear across the landscape in vicious swarms. The planet's largest outbreak sent 358 twisters across 21 states in April 2011. But on the sun, there are more than 30 times that many, 11,000 at any given moment. And these tornadoes don't have to be made out of air. They can be made out of hot gases and magnetic fields. The sun has so many tornadoes because it's churning with activity that sets pockets of hot gas by the thousands into swirling motions. Computer simulations show the tangle of magnetic field lines inside the gas and how the swirling action makes the gas shoot upwards, spiraling into funnels to form the solar tornadoes. The gas in solar tornadoes is so hot its atoms are broken up into their positive and negative parts. Known as charged particles, they make up a state of matter called plasma. When we're in grade school, we learn that the world is made out of three things, solid, liquids, and gases. Wrong. The sun is made out of plasma. Most of the universe, including gas clouds and stellar objects, are made out of plasmas. We're the freaks. We're the oddballs. We're made out of solid, liquids, and gases. Most of the universe is made out of plasma. Get used to it. Getting used to it means realizing that most tornadoes in the universe have to be made of plasma's charged particles, trapped into twisting clouds by magnetism in space. Then, get used to the fact that some of these things are zapping our planet every few hours and literally lighting up the sky. A tornado on Earth is a frightening event. Fortunately, it's relatively uncommon. In space, however, tornadoes are happening all the time. 11,000 of them are twisting on the sun at any moment. And astronomers recently discovered another kind of solar tornado. It's made of the thin stream of charged particles coming from the sun, and it actually reaches down into the Earth's atmosphere, jolting it with electric current many times a day. Space tornadoes touch down every few hours. They funnel energy down into the Earth's ionosphere, about 100 miles above our heads, actually. And they can carry up to 1 million amps of current. That's enough current to power 100,000 homes. The supercharged tornadoes are responsible for kickstarting the breathtaking auroras we see in our planet's polar regions. But the twisters themselves are so widely diffused, they are invisible to the naked eye. It's long been known that the auroras are associated with the solar wind. The solar wind is the constant flow of charged particles coming from the sun and blowing toward the Earth. Scientists had a problem. It turns out that if you calculate the energy stored in the solar wind, you find that it's not large enough to generate the spectacular light show called the aurora borealis. There had to be another source of energy driving the auroras. That source of energy comes from the Earth's magnetic field. It deflects the solar wind, making the charged particles blow around the planet. On the Earth's dark side, energy from the solar wind gets stored up and then released in bursts by the planet's magnetic field lines. 
these lines cross on the dark side of the Earth. And when these lines cross, they rearrange themselves, releasing a burst of energy. And that's the energy of what are called substorms. The magnetic substorms create lots of turbulence, which generates the rotating motion any tornado needs. That rotation comes from circular whirling eddies, similar to the rings of swirling vapor that show up in the turbulent flow of a wind tunnel on Earth. And these eddies are the space tornadoes themselves. And about a minute later after these eddies form, that eddy, that twisting of the magnetic field line, funnels down into Earth's ionosphere, where it is ultimately responsible for the aurora. The space tornadoes generating Earth's auroras are huge. They form more than 62,000 miles above the planet's surface, taking on a classic funnel cloud shape, wide at the top, but narrow at the bottom, where they touch the Earth's atmosphere. Space tornadoes out in Earth's magnetosphere are twice the size of the Earth, about 15,000 miles in diameter. But when they touch down on the Earth, they're actually quite narrow. So you've got this flowing, swirling set of particles that looks a lot like a tornado. But tornadoes in this near-Earth space and their even bigger cousins on the sun seem tiny compared to the twisters in the deep regions of the universe. Imagine the power of galaxy-sized tornadoes stretching across space for a million light years or more. To get a tornado in space, you need something to be set in motion analogous to the wind, and you need some mechanism that makes them go around and spiral around, forming that funnel shape we're familiar with, with tornadoes.